Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to execute orders through keyboard shortcuts on the Optimus Flow trading platform. Now, before I do get into the tutorial, I would like to mention that if you would like to try out Optimus Flow for free, you're more than welcome to sign up for a demo using the link down in the description. Sign up for the demo and you'll receive a 14 day free rhythmic trial. So your Optimus Flow platform will be using the rhythmic data feed and you're more than welcome to test orders, test the features of the platform and use it as your convenience. That being said, let's get into the tutorial. So for those of you that are interested in using keyboard shortcuts to execute your orders, this feature is only available on the dome surface window. Now you can open up the dome surface by heading to the top left hand corner, clicking on the Optimus Flow menu, scrolling down to the analytics section here and clicking on the DSF icon. This is dome surface. Now the dome surface does act like a dome in, you know, in its nature, but it also provides you with a liquidity and heat map showing you areas of high liquidity in the market where trades are firing off and they're represented by different lines and various um, circles that show high areas of liquidity. Now, I'm not going to get in too much to the technical analysis uh, behind the dome surface. Just want to be showing you keyboard shortcuts in this video. We'll have an, a, a detailed video on the dome service later on. But again, this is just going to be covering keyboard shortcuts. Now to activate your keyboard trading, all you need to do is head to the top right hand corner of the dome surface window and you'll see there's an option here. It looks like a keyboard pretty much just a left click on that and this will enable keyboard trading. As you can see now in the top left, a yellow window will pop up saying keyboard trading is active. So at this point in time, if you are using a live account, I suggest not randomly typing on your keyboard or doing things of that nature. Because if you do press one of these keyboard shortcuts, it will essentially activate or execute an order for you. So just keep that in mind. If you are using keyboard trading and you want to refrain from making any mistakes, you can go ahead in the top right hand corner and click on lock trading. As you can see right here, just left click on that and it'll prevent you from trading if you're typing on your computer or, you know, doing something else while having the platform open. So let's go ahead and unlock trading. And of course, we're going to need a list of the keyboard shortcuts that are available for the different order types. So what we can do is we can go ahead and right click on our chart and go down to settings here. Now within settings, we'll, we'll need to go to the last tab and click on hotkeys. This is essentially going to give you all your keyboard trading shortcuts. So as you can see, just in the general section, we have zoom in. This is going to be um, associated with the equal button on your keyboard. So if I go ahead, click on my chart here and press equal, it's a bit hard to tell, but we just zoomed in. Let's go back down to my windows here and let's look at some of the other options. So you can zoom out, you can activate mouse trading, which if you want to can also be done in the top right hand corner here. We've already created a video on how to trade from a chart. This essentially applies to the dome surface as well just giving you another option. So you can use a combination of keyboard shortcuts and mouse trading. Here are some other ease of access tools that we can use in the general section. Here are things associated with drawing tools. And as you can see, they have none associated with it. So for the general section, for the trading section, for our drawing tools here, if you wanna associate any of these features with a keyboard shortcut, essentially, all you need to do is click on the field here where it says none. As you'll notice, it will turn blank. I'm working with draw Fibonacci Eclipse right here. And let's say, for example, I press Alt on my keyboard. Um, you can see it's already used, so let's try something else. And you'll get that message if it's already used. Let's try two. There we go. I'm using the number pad on my keyboard, and I clicked on two. It will automatically associate a draw Fibonacci Eclipse now with the number two on my keyboard um, number pad there. Just to show you something else, let's do a fan. Go ahead, click on it. The field becomes blank and we press three on my number pad. There we go. It's now associated with number three. So again, you can do this for any feature within this hotkey section. You can delete it if you made a mistake or would like it associated with something else. 
Now, the main thing we're focusing on in this video, now that we've got that all out of the way, is trading. Again, all of this can be customized at any point in time. Again, just click the field and press the keyboard or the button on your keyboard that you'd like to associate the function with. So you may need to at first, if you're not familiar with them, keep this up in a side window. You're more than welcome to drag this off your screen, keep it up and still trade on Optimus Flow and use this as a reference. You may wanna write it down, print it out, whatever the case is, or customize it to something you know. So let's just take a look, for example, I'm gonna move this off to the side of my screen here and I can read it out loud, but the keyboard shortcut for a sell market is gonna be S. So now that my chart is active and this is um, the window I'm working with, all I'm gonna do is press S on my, key my keyboard and there you see, I immediately was um, entered in for a sell market order using my S keyboard. So from here, there's a couple more things we can do. Let's say we wanna close out our position. All we need to do is press X on my keyboard and there we go, it closed out. If I wanted to, I could have, let's just show you again. I'm gonna press S, it places my sell market order. If I wanna cancel it, I could have done it through the X button here. I could pop out my order entry panel on the top right hand corner and I can cancel it all there. So you have quite a few options. Obviously, since we're covering keyboard shortcuts in this video, we'll likely wanna close our positions using X, which is the default for closing positions. As you can see where my mouse is currently hovering over. If you have working orders, you can use Control X to cancel your orders. If you have multiple orders and multiple positions, you can click Control Shift X. Now there's some other features here as well. You can do things such as sell at the bid, which is Control S. You can do sell at the ask, which is Alt S. Let's show you what a buy market does. So we'll click on my chart. The associated uh, keyboard button for buy market is gonna be B. So I go ahead and press that and now there we go. I have a buy market order. Again, I can press X on my keyboard to close out my position. If I wanna do a buy ask order, that keyboard combination is gonna be Alt B. I press Alt B. It took a second because it was at the ask, it got filled, and there we go. We now have a buy ask order using the Alt B keyboard shortcut. That's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. Just wanted to quickly cover keyboard trading on the dome surface. Please remember at this time, it is only available on the dome surface, but we may be extending this feature to other charts as well throughout the platform. So if you stumble upon this video down the line and you see keyboard shortcuts on other features of the platform, you're more than welcome to refer back to this and the feature should remain essentially the same. Again, at the time of this video, it was created in our beta stage. So there are likely gonna be improvements and you know quality of life updates over the years here so just keep in mind things may change if you do have any questions please post them in the comment section down below you can head over to our community forum which is also in the description ask your questions there so we can provide you with screenshots and guides things of that nature if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe for more optimus flow content as always thanks for watching and remember if you want to try a demo of optimus flow you're more than welcome to sign up using the link in the description below thanks for your time